Edge Sports stories sets out to tell the tales of those who like their sport a little off the wall. Flips, grabs and spins have thrown extreme moves into our everyday lives as we revel at the sight of athletes performing them on board skis or scooters. There's one special tribe though that's chosen to strip out all the kit and take on seemingly impossible feats with a little more than the limbs they were born with. Parkour, a sporting movement established first in France in 1988. It's a series of flying moves, leaps and cat-like balance used to ascend, descend and traverse terrain. Parkour has risen from the street straight into the mainstream eye. From viral videos to big budget action movie scenes, it seems everyone wants a piece of the action. Those acrobatic moves soon caught the attention of others and quickly spread across the globe. These days, the creative side has evolved to a competitive competition, having both a World Series, training camps and multiple disciplines. Speed, skills and freestyle are all judged on form, fluidity, accuracy and execution, as Chris Bodansky and Justin Schaefer explain. Really, like the big thing that we look for in speed rounds is having someone be able to cut back and forth and change up their route constantly to really push them as an athlete. Because you want to involve bars, you want to involve strides, you want to involve heights, you want to involve lows. So you want to really engage your legs and like really push them. You against the stopwatch, we have a laser timer, so it's very accurate as far as when they cross that line. Um, so what we do is we station referees, if you will, at different checkpoints to make sure that certain things are getting hit. So we might have areas that are, the floor is lava, so don't touch this. Um, or we say there might be a checkpoint at a certain angle that we want you to achieve. In the event that you miss one of those, you'll get an infraction of up to half a second. Sometimes if you do opt to, like if this skill, if this section of the course is too difficult, you can choose to opt out of it, but it will hurt your overall time at the end. Though the growth is not all about federations and trophies. We'll end with a visit to Jason Paul on the set of his new shoot. My name is Jason Paul and I do parkour. Right now we are on the roof of the Maritime Museum right in the middle of Hamburg where we are shooting a parkour action film and this is one of our locations. The story of our film starts with me dropping my phone off of a rooftop and it lands in the handbag of a lady that just happens to be passing by. And of course I chase her all the way through Hamburg left and right, top and bottom using my parkour skills to hopefully get my phone back in the end. We didn't end up in Hamburg by accident. We chose this beautiful city because it has so much variety in architecture, but also in transport. You have the waterways with the boats, you have the buses, you have the streets, the rooftops. And that just is a really nice mix for not just us filming wise, but also for my parkour skills. The most fun to shoot was one, the, the water challenges, doing parkour above water and finding tricky action to do. I didn't always succeed. There was a few fun moments where I actually fell into the water. Of course, when I shoot a parkour movie, I want the action to be as spectacular as possible, but also I want the shooting to be as safe as possible. And for that, the most important thing is my 15 years of parkour experience, my daily training, my skills. And then also on the day of the shoot, you want to just have a safe working environment, which is the most important thing is you want to have time. We have a very relaxed crew. Nobody's pushing each other. You really just, creating a safe environment for everybody to work and then you practice and you rehearse and when everybody feels good, ideally you get it in the first take. Of course, we're not always on an exclusive location like the Maritime Museum rooftop in the middle of Hamburg. Usually when I train, I'm from Frankfurt and we just meet up with a bunch of people in the middle of the street. We look for some rails, some walls to practice our skills. And one thing we definitely love to do is to travel. Like parkour lives from the different environments, finding inspiration in the, the city, the surroundings around you. And one of the most fun things is to just take a few guys and girls and go on a trip and find some new things to jump off. The most common inspiration for new parkour action comes from the environment. You try to find unique architecture and you, know, you let that inspire you to do something that hasn't been done before. But it also happens that you go to the zoo and you see like a monkey brachiating, jumping from one branch to the next one. And you're like, I want to do that too. Or you see Jackie Chan do something cool in a movie and then you want to try that. And inspiration kind of comes from everywhere. You just ha always have your eyes open. The most challenging action in this clip was actually the final jump 
into the bus. Not just because the timing was tricky, we have to get the bus in the right place at the right time, it was also the biggest jump with the smallest landing area. We took out some seats, so I actually have a place to land, but still it was really, really tight and tricky. In the end, it worked out though. Yo, that was sick. Now let's just post this clip online and then let's get out of here. Oh, oh, oh.